And I'm really not worried about repercussions from them anymore because really, what more could they do apart from release another fucking pachinko machine? Maybe do Contra next. That'll piss everyone off. Ah, <sighs> Jim effing Sterling son. I reminisce coming home from work on a Monday, sitting down, having my dinner, and watching the latest rant from Mr. Sterling. Funny, entertaining, informative, very edgy. Wasn't quite sure about this guy's mental state at the time. I mean, look at his attire all black with a bit of red with the glasses and the tie and the very dubious backdrop if you know what i mean of course that was way back then in his most famous video rant against konami where he made that hashtag of so once again fuck konami and do use the hashtag hashtag f-u-c-k-o-n-a-m-i but of course folks during lockdown there was a metamorphosis of Jim, who now became James Stephanie Sterling. <laughs> the hive mind got to Jim Sterling. What happened to my Jim? Oh my God. You might wear fake breasts underneath that weird dress, Jim, but you were still Jim to me in 2011. What's happened to you, dude? Come back. And now for some white cho- Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, would you like some chocolate? Yeah, just keep leaning forward. <laughs> That's right, keep going. Her voice may be almost as important to gamers as Lara's double pistols, curves and skimpy shorts. Kung Fu Hot Dog is a Kung Fu renegade cop. Now he must defeat the most evil Kung Fu master in the world. For a modern gaming audience. Get ready for a new world of unspeakable adventures. I said, Mummy, I like the way the lady runs. Get ready for a new world of unspeakable adventures never before shown in a motion picture. Get ready for Kung Fu Hot Dog. Right, no retreat, no surrender. Well, with Easter not long around the corner, I went to my local Asda today and bought myself some white chocolate Easter eggs. Is that racist IGN? Because you can't spell ignorant without IGN in that word. And Intruder74, I need to thank you for making that awesome observation. I'm assuming 74 is the year you were born in. Is the same year and decade Michael Schenker was guitaring away with UFO? And I will say that best formative years but i can't wait to dive into this much much later on because i'm a bit of a sweet toothed not so fairy fairy but of course somebody who could be considered that is mr or should i say mrs matt walsh from the daily wire now heads up here daily wire i did do a reaction to them last year when it was matt walsh talking about what is a woman even going as far as traveling to an african nation not the one infected by the uroboros virus and where matt walsh was even into interviewing tribesmen and women out there about what is a woman and do you think trans people are actually real? So I find that quite hilarious. But the thing with the Daily Wire, and I do agree with this point of view, while they, they can be mildly entertaining, they don't care about pop culture like I do and you do. They don't. It's a grift for them. They pretend to be gamers. And of course, I'm going to get to that point in a minute. When Snow White from Disney comes out next year with Rachel Zegler, I'm going to be more interested in monetizing the crap out of that than the alternative version they have on the Daily Wire with Brett Cooper. Because again, who's going to be talking about that version of Snow White? Nobody is. And by the way, folks, I'm going to be reacting to the X-Men animated 97 new reboot 10 part series in a few minutes so stick around you're gonna want to watch this whole video and speaking of which folks resident evil 5 you know what ign did yesterday that was my easter egg just crumbling to the floor well they talked about you can't remake this game capcom and if you do you have to rewrite the history 
because people apparently have a problem with black zombies being mown down but by a white man and a black woman but apparently if it's white zombies or spanish zombies or eastern european zombies that's not a problem so it looks like this article's community struck yesterday because what it says here is brilliant the readers added context to this article that ign suddenly turned off the replies to because they're getting so ratioed in the comment section no racist or discriminatory remarks towards people of color are present in the game and enemies are treated no different than any other in the series the article also mentions that the game would benefit from a black lead in a remake ignoring the female woman of color sheva alomar who I actually praised. She's a good character. She absolutely is. Eva Ladere did a great job voicing her. So IGN have got eggs on their faces. And I believe it was a white dude who wrote the article as well. So IGN just go back to, into the corner over there and just sit there like a like the dunce corporation you are. So today, folks, Matt Walsh, he's in the news again for some reason, because I guess he needs to get clout like everybody else. I love when people just completely invent shit I never said or even came close to saying and then get all mad about the thing they invented in their heads. What is he on about? Let's have a listen. And now finally that attention. The video game industry, without a lot of fanfare, has transformed into a tool of both propaganda and surveillance. Says the tool with the overgrown beard and glasses. It's an effective way to indoctrinate children precisely because it hasn't received much attention and also because children spend, many of them, hundreds of hours a year, and that might be an undercount, a severe undercount, uh, 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 with this kind of content. So it should get, it our, get a lot of our attention. And now finally that attention is here. And it's yet another reason to keep these games as far away from your children as possible. And if you do that, games journalists literally the lowest form of journalists on the planet, will accuse you of harassment. And that's exactly how you'll know that you're doing the right thing. There's something that Matt Walsh says here that I don't like because he's saying that video games are indoctrinating children. How so? So if you're a responsible parent, and I'm sure those of you who are watching this channel will be a responsible rent, you wouldn't let your underage kid play Max Payne or GTA 5 and a forthcoming GTA 6, would you? You wouldn't be that irresponsible. Uh, please don't prove me wrong on that part because if anything, you're going to expose your kids to <laughs> a world they are not ready for until they turn 18 or above. And by the same ironic twist of fate as well, if you pick up the Bible, what is that made up of? Sex, drugs and rock and roll. But it's just basically in the literary form. So Matt Walsh has no idea what he's talking about because again in 2014 people were talking about Gamergate. Back in that time I didn't have a YouTube channel but I was concerned about things going on like who is this Anita Sarkeesian person and why she sat on a panel in Australia with the biggest humongous gigantic woman I have ever seen in my life. Once you have a systemic and institutional framework, you see how oppression manifests in many subtle ways under the systems of what Bell Hooks calls white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. You have to learn how systems of oppression are maintained by our participation in them. But they're also self-perpetuating. But Matt Walsh, Oh my dear God, have you ever seen a video with him and Ben Shapiro playing video games? It's pretty awful. And Gina Carano, why are you signed up to Daily Wire? They haven't done anything for your career so far. Leave them, go and find another talent agency who will get you more work in Hollywood. Anything the Daily Wire puts out, I just have to go, <laughs> the biggest massive guffaw ever, because it is just not worth my time even hearing what they have to say because again they don't care about pop culture at all they just care about grifting on the next trend that is out there 
But of course now, on his official Twitter X page, the radical wokeness of the video game industry. And it's got Matt doing the talk to the hand, not the face, because it's, so, it's such a macho man thing to do, isn't it, Mr. Walsh? It's bizarre seeing YouTubers implode over you actually agreeing with them about the rottenness of the industry. It's sort of demonstrating the man-child stereotype of the hardcore obsessive gamer. But this is Matt Walsh who said in 2018 that video games are indoctrinating your children. What are you going to do about it? Dismissing the fact that people like Sweet Baby Inc. are attacking a Brazilian guy called Cabrutus who simply made a curator's page on Steam highlighting the games that Sweet Baby Inc. have released thus far and basically telling people don't buy this game because they're attached to it. In fact, I would also say as well that if this is the state of video gaming in the future, no one's going to be interested. I'd rather stay at home and go through my Xbox 360, PS3 and 4 and Xbox One titles. A lot of them are physical copies. It's just some of them are digitally downloaded and I'll be content with that. It means I have hours and weeks to catch up on titles I have not gotten around to yet. So yeah, big win for us and a big loss for AAA Western Gaming. A lot of people ask me, how big are my fun bags? Rest assured, when you get your hands on my fun bags, you'll be impressed. Of course now, we've got this rather amusing thumbnail from Stacey Henley himself. Yes, that person who works for thegamer.com. Nobody cares about Stellar Blade's character design except you. Hmm, says the trans woman. Okay, there is a theory that Stellar Blade's character design is causing a culture war. Who started it? Alex Batalia from Digital Foundry. Everyone seems to be on the same side, says the uh, not so mannish woman. In case you haven't heard, no, I haven't actually, Stacey, but thanks for being considerate. Stellar Blade features an attractive woman as its protagonists. Or oh, like 1990s Lara Croft with the skimpy shorts and a double pair of hot pistols and also her guns. Not just that, she also wears tight clothing and climbs ladders. People have been losing their minds over this. You might jump to conclusions that these people, you're talking about me, Mr. Henley, are part of the woke army like me. But we don't care, just as we don't care how to be or bayonets are dressed. Everyone thought Tifa's swimsuit was in character too. You are fighting ghosts you invented. The recent Sweet Baby Inc. controversy has become a catalyst for airing grudges in gaming. You can read more about that saga here. But simply put, some fans aren't happy about diversity consultants in gaming. That's exactly right, Mr. Henley. We don't want them in gaming. We like diverse characters in entertainment when they're done right. Not unlike, you know in Spider-Man No Way Home when Jamie Foxx says, Oh man, I thought Spider-Man might have been a black guy. I mean, did you have to throw that one in John Watts, Mr. Director? You could have left that line out. It was so forced and contrived in otherwise what was a really good movie. The work done by Sweet Baby Inc. has been commonplace for a long time. Well, that's kind of confirmed now with that Homeland Security government grant because why on earth would Homeland Security, and don't forget, the Americans, didn't they? Isn't the basis of video games from the military? Am I wrong in saying that? We have to simulate war exercises to get your soldiers conditioned for the field, even though that's a virtual reality and they're not in reality, so to speak, at that moment in time. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? 
Stella Blades Eve is rapidly becoming iconic. Well, I, I can't imagine why, actually, Mr. Henley. Can you? So apparently, Eve has exaggerated beauty and a very exaggerated booty as well, I may add, because many gamers taking their hard-headed stance against diversity in gaming see things as zero-sum black and white battles. They consider a win for them to be a loss for others. This is not grounded realistic female design like in the last of us part two ah! so stacy henley would you have a problem if i stood here and ogled at the goods of eve while the camera does a 360 by the way you can also do this in the old mass effect games as well as the remastered edition when the characters are in the elevator you can actually tilt the camera to look at their bums as the elevator goes up or down and it's absolutely titillating like this moment here i might have trouble getting through this game if i'm going to spend my time just looking at cutscenes of eve and her various outfits shift up you can't release this game quick enough can you make a time travel mechanic so it's already april the 26th please please so here we go ladies and gentlemen a sneak peek of x-men 97 only 30 seconds long just like my foreplay techniques and i will give you a bit of a heads up here Bodhi mayonnaise the gay showrunner who was headlining these 10 episodes it's only 10 episodes folks back in the day we had way more than that was fired from marvel this week before the premiere of the show some people say it's only fans what was bo's defense well it's only soft core stuff it's only fans it's never soft as wrong as that phrase sounds you know exactly what i'm talking about I'm not sure if it's been pointed out before, but the uh, Sentinels have a bit of a Jack Kirby-esque look to them right here. That's very, that's obviously a nice little tribute to the great man himself, Jack the King Kirby. And there's Morph going, ooh, what am I gonna do? I'm, I'm supposed to be a powerful mutant and I can't do anything because I'm non-binary. <laughs> Oh God, I tell you what, some of this animation is truly hideous. On closer inspection of Rogue, she has no breasts and no bum and no thighs. She looks terrible. And Remy LeBeau, Gambit is supposed to be in love with her, really? Greetings, enemy mine. Oh, he's doing a pop culture reference. Enemy Mine from 1985. Oh, wow. The voice acting is all right. It's not bad. If I didn't know better, that scene looked very misjointed. I can't quite put my finger on it. It just seems everything's all over the place. Is it how the true set piece is going to play out? Do you care at this point? Do I? I guess not. So on that one, okay. ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. God, it was an amazing time, wasn't it? Uh, everything about Matt Walsh is just backfiring against him and the Daily Wire. And something I neglected to tell you as well, they've been blocking people on Twitter who've dared to defy them and make a mockery out of them. Because apparently, folks, you can't have a sense of humor anymore because if you even dare to be try to be funny like well chris tucker yes because like you mr tucker i also agree lionel richie was only black when he was in the commodores man but oh my god if you enjoyed this video today and by the way i have reached a milestone on the history of this three-year-old channel 600 000 plus views oh my god 
Who on earth will take that time or give up 13 to 20 minutes of their day to watch a video of my butt ugly face waxing lyrical about women, boobies and pop culture? Well, that would be yours truly. And if you were me, and if I were you, you might perhaps want to come back for the next video. Oh, well, I don't know how much I can survive in Sydney's cleavage any longer. You might see me on the next video.